Do y'all want to learn how to stop the wildcat formation? I know this has been giving a lot of problems to people. And as you guys can see, we made a stop right here. This is from a game that I ended up playing somebody. Um, he had he was running wildcat. Now, I know, I know, I know a lot of y'all going to see the score at the bottom and be like, well, you weren't really stopping wildcat. But it was because I was trying to figure it out during this game. It was when, during this game and another game I can show you guys as like proof that, you know, I kind of have found a way to stop wildcat. This really isn't going to be a video for regs. I don't know. The, to me, the regs is the wild, wild west. I've been seeing a whole bunch of those clips. I saw the clips on Twitter of, of Judkins going crazy and play now and so on and so forth. This is from an ultimate team standpoint only, and I'm sure this can be applied to um to regs, but I don't want to lead y'all astray and then y'all coming at me in the comment section. But let's go ahead and get into the video. I've been wasting too much time already. Let's get it. So something that I found to be best is the 4-2-5 formation, as you guys can see right here, 4-2-5. Uh, this formation is in a lot of playbooks, which is why I'm recommending this. Um, I'm sure there's other formations that can do it, but this is just something that I found in the way that I want to do it. Um, it's the best way that I found it. Shout out my dog, Two-Way Dream, man. He kind of helped me figure this out as well. Um, I took it a little bit of a step further from his recommendations to me. So make sure y'all go ahead and drop a follow over there. That is, that is one of my guys. So <clears throat> in this formation, um, you want to come out and cover two men. I know that might sound a little crazy, but you're going to want to come out and cover two men. So I'm going to really focus on, I'm going to focus on this mountain zone play so far. Um, there is a tell in this play. Um, you guys can watch the quarterback and also with the, um, with this jet reverse pass as well. So I kind of dive into all those plays here, but mainly with the, with the plays that involve a bunch of motion. So, um, as you guys can see right here, you know, we're just going to leave it alone. Now, obviously, the AI doesn't have good stick work, but as you guys can see, they, they got good yardages off of that. Obviously, you know, we're, we're, we didn't get a chance to do our thing. So most important thing here. So what I, what I do, this is my setup. You want to hit left on your D-pad. That's going to bring up your adjustments for your D-line. So what I do a lot of times is I, I spread my D-line, which is going to be up on the left stick, Okay. The next thing you're going to want to do is right on the D-pad up on the left stick to spread your linebackers. You don't necessarily have to do this because you can get thrashed up the middle if you do this. Um, but if you know, like, typically the people that run Wildcat are, are not really the smartest players. I hate to say it like that, but they're not really the smartest players. If you play somebody that actually knows what they're doing, they'll probably mix it up. But a lot of the times, those people will literally just spam the same play. They won't flip the play. They won't do anything. It doesn't matter the hash mark they're on. It doesn't matter the the type of like time that's left in the game. It really doesn't matter. They're just going to come out and just snap the ball immediately. Um, so if you know that it's going to be either the jet reverse or the, the blast play, um, you can also spread your linebacker. So again, it's going to be right on the D-pad up on the uh, left stick. And then as well, you're going to want to bring up your coverage adjustments, which is going to be why you're going to want to press your DBs and you're going to want to shade over the top. That allows that you see, as you guys can see, that it brought everybody down into the box, it brought people down. We have a lot of bodies over here on this right side which basically is just going to lock it down. So um, you also want to get on this safety over here on this right side, just so you can be like the last sort of effort on that. So we know they're going to the right here. We know that's what they're going to do. And as you guys can see, we got them for a loss. And there's not really much you have to do, honestly. So again, you're going to want to shift your D-line left on the D-pad, up to spread them, right on the D-pad to shift your linebackers, spread them. And then you're going to want to press Y, press Y, Press down on the left stick, press Y again, shade over top, which is going to be the right stick up. And again, you're going to want to be on this safety over here that is on the quarterback side. And as you guys can see, the quarterback is kind of doing this with his arms. You can kind of tell that the, the play is coming. So uh, it kind of allows you to be able to know which play is coming. So that's something that I found it to be pretty well to stop it. And it's really not much involvement from your user. You are going to have to, um, you know, still... Uh, you still gonna have to do some sort of user, but again, your AI is gonna do it a lot for you. Again, this is just the best way that I found. And again, you're just gonna have to come down and make a hit. You're gonna want to just flow with your with your user over here to the right, just in case. And again, I just missed obviously, so um, you know I haven't really been playing the game all day. But the point being, you can also come down and give some help as well. Um, and that's kind of what it is. And the beauty of this formation, again, I didn't really do the the um, 
the adjustment. So as you guys can see, he got a decent amount of yards compared to when I was actually doing the adjustment. The good thing about this is that um, you actually can guard the trick play pretty well, and it's because you're going to be on this 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 right side uh, safety. Again, a lot of the times I want to do this because again the the trick play route comes from that side. So I'm gonna you're gonna want to guard that. Again, you're kind of just going to hope that your uh, this cornerback right here runs with this receiver, and then you're going to, you know, your job is to basically guard the tight end. We'll, we'll kind of go over it, um, you know, when I actually am running the trick play. But, again, it's just a lot easier to to do it with that, with that receiver. You're going to want to uh, – not the receiver, but the safety. I'm sorry. You're going to want to make sure you're on this – or the safety. I keep saying receiver. You're going to want to make sure you're on the safety with the same side as the quarterback – and the, the wide receiver. You don't want to be on the same side as the running back um, a lot of times. So, again, if you're going to want to, you know, come out here against that trick play, some people like to kind of mix that in. That's really the only other thing that I've really seen is the jet sweep, the direct snap, or this trick play. So, again, specifically, that's out of the Arizona playbook. So, um, I don't know if other, you know, formations have that. But, again, this is going to be, I would say, the safest way to play defense. So, again, you're going to want to shift your D-line. Shift your linebackers, press, shade over top. And again, it does help that I have Will Johnson, but he's going to stay step for step with, with Malik Neighbors most of the time. So, um, see, see, the AI just kind of threw it to me again. Your opponent's probably, if they're winning Wildcat, they're probably not smart enough to make that read. Obviously, again, you know, my, um, the tight end was left open. But um, again, the, the, the <laughs> They oftentimes don't make the correct read, and you're just gonna have to make your best guess with uh you're gonna have to make your guess best guess with your receiver. As you guys can see on that play, Will Johnson kind of ran with him. I was able to guard the tight end. It was pretty box. Again, your opponent's probably gonna throw it a lot of the times. Um, they're not gonna just hold on to it and they're gonna freak out because a lot of times people don't know how to stop it. So um, you know, we're just gonna have to do that. So again, on that play, my recommendation is to run with that receiver at first and then uh you know, dart off and go guard the tight end. The tight end is going to kind of run a wheel route up the sideline and it's going to be a post out of this receiver here. So you're going to want to run with him at first and then sprint over and go get him immediately. Again, you're you're going to be you're going to box your opponent when you do this. They're going to be absolutely stunned. They're not going to know what to do. They might end up stop running wildcat. I've had people do that you know, against me before where, where people have stopped running Wildcat and they've done other things and they pretty much quit a lot of times as well. They don't a lot of times, you know, know what they're doing. But um, yeah, it, it's it's a pretty, in my opinion, surefire way to get it boxed. So, um, you know, hopefully what I said makes made sense. Um, hopefully the, the recommendations that I'm giving to you guys make sense. Um, again, I didn't do the adjustment, so, you know, don't be alarmed, but Hopefully those adjustments make sense. It's, it should be pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do, um, pretty easy setup. And again, to me, I think this is one of the safest ways to stop it. Um, whether they run that jet sweep, whether they run a direct snap or the trick play, I've had pretty much good success. You know, I haven't really had anybody running crazy on me with the Wildcats. So, um, yeah, that's my recommendation to you guys. Let me know down in the comment section, you know, if if these uh, changes did help you. If it didn't, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.